Ah, what is up? What is up? I am so glad to be back here. I can't even tell you. I am in utter disbelief. Uh, this is Christmas Central 2019. Uh, this has been a long time coming. You guys know that. Um, even before the initial setup, uh, and every year, uh, this is my favorite rant of the year. I don't really plan anything to say for it. In fact, generally, I don't really plan my rants out. But this is just surreal. Um, this is Christmas season now. This is the big time. This is it. Um, everything to this point has just been practiced for what is about to be perhaps the ultimate Christmas to end ultimate Christmases. I mean, I've made more teasers for this Christmas in one month than I think I've made in five to ten years. And this is, you know, just to talk about this, this is the ultimate Christmas Central. When I set out to make Christmas Central 2019, that was always my goal. It was to make the ultimate Christmas Central. And those of you who have seen my setups before, you're kind of like, well, how can you really, you know, what else can you really do? And I don't know who's asking that, but if you were, that's what you would ask. Because every year has seen just such a dramatic improvement from the year before. Different arrangements, different themes. And this theme is almost like everything. And I know that sounds a little overambitious, but when I really look at what my goal was from the beginning, it was to make something that referenced 2009, that referenced 1999, but also was its own identity. And there are all kinds of elements, not just from those two Christmases, but from other Christmases, and things that are all new for this year. I've completely rebuilt the Christmas Carnival from 2017, except this time, at the center of it all, I have the Cyclone Roller Coaster, which just looks fantastic, sounds fantastic. And speaking of sounds, you know, there's so much music and energy in this room, I actually had to turn it down just so that you can actually hear me talk. And there's motion. I mentioned before in my Evolution of Christmas Central rant that I like motion. And you're not going to find any more motion than what I have here. I've got several things just on Christmas Central alone, the main shelving, that are in motion. The roller coaster, the Ferris wheel, Ski Mountain, the Coke factory, just so many things. Even the new Coke soda fountain that I just added from going to the Yankee Candle Store not that long ago. So I am beyond pleased with this. But it was a real challenge, and I really like that it was a challenge, you know? From beginning to end, I mean, you guys saw a lot of it in the live stream. It wasn't just a simple, okay, put this up, do this. It was very difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It was very difficult, especially the Magic Tracks, which I'm looking at right now. Uh, the Magic Tracks, and they're far from perfect, but laying these tracks down took a long time. The tracks actually go all the way around this room. They go behind the couch, they go around the tree, they go behind the 2009 setup, they go under the piano bench. It's just an extra layer of playfulness that I thought was really needed. I thought last year kind of started that with the Magic Tracks, but this year just taking it to another level. And again, just so many little references here and there from just past Christmas Central setups. I, I could go into the details forever, but I'm going to stick with the big ones, which are the Christmas lights, just regular Christmas lights going along the actual shelving, which you saw me put up in the live stream. The red and green lights um, along the curtain rod, again, obviously very reminiscent of 2009 and the original Christmas Central setup. But everything about this is modern. Everything about this is new. Everything about this is... It's, some of it's what you've seen before, but it's taken to another level. And there's also things you haven't seen before. Um, like I said, the Dreamcast Corner is just a huge favorite of mine. I love that idea. I had that idea almost instantly. Um, the only tricky part with that was coming up with how I was going to display it. I had to actually find a Dreamcast stand and a controller stand. And that involved, you know, researching things on Amazon and a lot of other little details like the write-ups on the wall and stuff. A lot of this stuff I don't even expect people to see. But it's meaningful to me, you know, like the, the write-up about Christmas 2009 and just how, how monumental that holiday was. The fact that we're here right now is because of Christmas 2009, I firmly believe. And Christmas 99, I mean, not enough can be said about that holiday. Even as I watch other previous Christmas videos, I see Christmas 99 referenced all the time. I mean, it was the most iconic Christmas of all time, and it's been 20 years. I was turning 11 years old at that point. I'll be 31 at the time of Christmas 2019. It is incredible how time flies. And this whole decade, really, because even, you know, from 2009 on, you know, we weren't, you know, at the end. We were just starting. Christmas 2009 ushered in a new decade, a new era of Christmas greatness. And that's kind of what I also want to celebrate here is not just those two years, but every year, whether it was 11, 12, 13, 14, all the Christmases that I've been in this room for, you've been watching my videos for a number of years, you know how much this means to me, you know that I, I always go all out, and this year I involved the fans for the first time ever, and I'm just so glad I did. I know 
my live streams only got like four or five viewers at the most and only three of them ever commented, but I sincerely appreciate you guys watching me for even a minute. Um, I never thought, you know, not, not that I, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit in shock right now. And this is the fun part, because now, as you can tell, <laughs> I get to relax. I get to relax in here, I get to just kind of enjoy this. Like, this is, you know, this took a few weeks, this took probably about six or seven hours, you guys saw some of that live streamed. And, I mean, you know, I might tweak a thing or two here or there, but it, it's generally done. And, and now the best part is going to be having my friends over for my birthday bash, then when they all get to see it. Having, you know, maybe my nani over, family over to see it, and just looking at it myself. And it's even really great in the morning, too. I'll probably do another thing where I show it in the morning with the sun on. Even without all these lights on, it's absolutely stunning. The shelf lighting from Ikea was just a brilliant addition to this. And really, all these ideas that have been implemented this year, they're like, I, they're kind of like scraps of ideas from previous years that I, like, kind of did, but this time I went all out. I didn't cut a single corner, I used every piece I have, and that's saying a lot. I'm looking right now at the Christmas necklace from 2016, it's hanging on the windowsill up there. The Christmas lights from 2017 are going along the windowsill. Just every little element that I've ever used or worn or somehow been involved with is in this room in one way or another. Even this shirt I'm wearing with the red shirt underneath it, I don't know how the colors are in the video, but some of you eagle-eyed viewers that. may know that yes, this is what I was wearing in 2009 for that Christmas at Nani's, uh, which was celebrating a 10-year anniversary. Now we are celebrating a 20 and a 10-year anniversary, and I am just absolutely stoked. I'm stoked! It's freaking December! It is freaking here! This is Christmas Central, this is what I've been working towards, and I hope that you guys watching this with me, like, I don't know, I'm not saying you should take pride in it, but just that, I hope you guys really enjoyed that ride and see where it got us. Because this was the goal all along. And I haven't even talked about possibly my favorite edition, which is over there, the Christmas video monitor, don't know what you want to call it. I've always had my Grid of Memories, which has all my top Christmases of all time on it. Well, now I've added to it with um, the Christmas video montage, if you will, and I love it. Um, you know, I have almost every Christmas on there. I have other random clips of things related to Christmas, because Christmas to me is so much more than the day, and this is a milestone day in itself. This is something to be celebrated. This is the basically the grand opening of Christmas Central. This is it. Now, normally I would walk around the room and kind of show you everything piece by piece, but I can't move. <laughs> I can't move in this room. And I'm okay with that. Like, there's a very little bit of room around the side of the tree and around the other side of the tree, but for me to actually do anything can be very difficult. That's why I did some rants earlier before everything was set up. But right now, you know, the room has everything I need in it. It's just such a testament to this holiday, what I love about this holiday. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to spend some days just sitting here. Not for the whole day, obviously, but maybe for like a half hour or so. I'm going to spend some days just taking this in, just sitting on this couch looking up at the tree, which, by the way, has all new Christmas lights that change color and move around and stuff. So there's even an energy to the Christmas tree, which has been a symbol for years. It's just, it's amazing. When I think to myself, you know, back in 2009, what I did, and just where I am today with the Christmas Central, again, I know I'm being a little biased, and there's no, you know, ranking system for this, but this is absolutely, positively my best Christmas Central ever. Uh, it's just, I can't, at least not right now, I can't think of a way that this could have gotten any better. Like, there's just so much, so much detail, not just in this, but downstairs and other places. This is Christmas Central, and I, I'm so proud to say it. You know, for years, the joke was always, to Christmas Central we go. Well, Christmas Central is here. And, you know, despite all my lights and flashiness and just all that stuff, I love Christmas. Um, you guys know that. And, you know, I've watched... You know, in making these teasers, you know, I take these little clips, and I actually watch the whole video. Like, I don't just take the three-second clip, and that's all I know. Like, I watch videos going back to 2012, 2010, 2005 even, and I just see the passion I have for this holiday, and as it gets closer, how much more excited I get. And that's been every year, and I actually kind of run out of things to say at a certain point, but when I finished this, when I really finished this Christmas Central and I had everything set up, I, I just, I really felt proud. I'm not going to say I cried, I'm not going to say anything dramatic like that, but I really did feel the sense of pride that I don't always feel. And it's not that I'm, you know, I, lo I love every Christmas Central I've made, but it's like when I made this one, it was like, wow. Because this vision had been in my head for probably months. 
You know, there's no secret to that. The way I did the teasers, the way I've elaborately planned everything. And I'm generally not a planned person, believe it or not. Like, there's a few things I plan a year, but a lot of times I'm more spontaneous. But with this, it's like I knew what I wanted from day one, and I just went out and got it. It's really, I, I don't know, it's like uplifting in itself, just how well this all turned out. And, I, again, I don't want to just sound like I'm bragging, but I'm, I'm really proud of this. And I'm really excited for Christmas. I'm excited for the time that I'm going to get to spend with my family. It really is precious, you know. Christmas 2009 was such an exciting time. I can remember being down in my room on Christmas Eve and talking about how I was going to miss it. You know, how I was going to miss the Christmas season, miss the frenzy, miss the everything that came along with it. Because there's a lot that comes along with the Christmas season. And, you know, you do miss it. And it's only here once a year. So I treasure it every day that I can. And now it's here. It's December. It's, you know, we're, we're heading right towards Christmas 2019. So I hope you guys have enjoyed everything I've done so far. I, I, like I've said before, I do it out of love. I do it because I want to. Uh, it's a lot of work, of course, but I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, and when I look at this Christmas Central, and, and, and forget the Christmas Central, because these are just objects, you know, these are just objects that light up. But, like, when I just look at, I don't know, there's like an intangible to this room, an intangible to the holidays that, it's weird. No, when I'm actually here looking at it, it's it's a feeling that I don't really get doing anything else. Like, I'll watch this video like maybe 10, 12 months from now. Well, 12 months from now it'll be Christmas again, so I'll be looking at another Christmas Central. But you get my point. If I look at this video even a few months down the line, I'll like it, but I'm not going to understand it. Like, And that, that's kind of the weird thing about Christmas is... I make the Christmas videos, and when I watch them, I feel, like, instantly nostalgic, but I'll never feel that same way again. You know, like, when I was a kid in 1999, and there was no Christmas Central, but there was a Christmas tree, and I was, like, dancing around it and plugging in the lights, I'll never feel that way again. Like, that was a moment in time that I can watch and I can experience again, but I can't really experience it, like, in my heart. And, you know, that's why I want to hold on to this one. I want this one to last I want them all to last, but, you know, ultimately they don't. But they kind of do. <laughs> I know, that's kind of the weird thing about it. Like, Christmas to me is a continuum. You know, it's gone for a while, and then it comes back. And when it comes back, it's... I don't know, I get it. Like, I just get it. I'm just reminded of all the other times it came back. So, again, I'm not going to keep rambling on. You guys get the point. This is Christmas Central 2019. What I'd really like to do in the next week or so, and I'll set a date for it, is do like a live stream in here where maybe I do like a Christ, uh, Christmas Q&A, just a random improv, improv, improv type of thing where you guys just ask me questions or, you know, you can even talk about whatever you want. Because I really want to include the fans this time. If I say fans, I probably have like three people that watch this stuff. But I really want to include as many people as possible in this. This is a big event. This is a huge event for me. And that's saying something, because Christmas is always a huge event, but this is a huger one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Open your heart. Christmas 2019 is here. Get out there. Tell your family you love them. Tell your friends you love them. Just go out there. Do whatever makes you happy, and just, just go nuts. Merry Christmas, everybody. Seriously. Merry Christmas.